Watch TV shows that shape 2021, Bridgerton, Squid Games. You may not recognize his name yet but you definitely know Jeremy O'Hara's work. That's because there's hardly a 2021 buzzworthy project that Harris wasn't a part of. Let's start with the fact that Harris wrote one of Broadway's hottest tickets, Slave Play, which made history at the 2021 Tony Awards with a whopping 12 nominations, including for Best Play. Harris also made the rounds on the Film Awards circuit for co-writing Zola, which landed two Gotham Award nominations for stars Taylor Page and Coleman Domingo. I don't consider myself being on top of the world, Harris exclusively joked We News. I am just trying to live right now, you know what I mean. I spent so much of my 20s hoping that the work I was doing would be seen, or hoping that I would be able to do a lot of different types of things because I had so many different interests. I felt really outside looking in and now I feel like I've been invited inside. Harris even made a cameo on HBO Max's Gossip Girl as himself, and debuted a first look at his upcoming play The Bloody and Lamentable Tale of Aaron, an inspired sequel to William Shakespeare's Titus Andronicus. A Gossip Girl fan tweeted that they were absolutely dying watching Harris' imaginary play in the series, to which Harris clarified that the play is. Harris wrote, I visited the writer's room to find out the tenor of my EP then wrote my dream at Public Theater NY play for at Gossip Girl after chatting W at anthologist. Showrunner Joshua Safran, the Yale alum added, Public Theater Artistic Director. Oscar Eustace turned to me upon seeing it and said, Can we commission this? And I had a contract the next day. Now Harris shows off his acting chops once more playing a British luxury designer in season of Emily in Paris, now streaming on Netflix. A petty social media post pits Harris character Gregory Elliott Dupree against the titular Emily, Lily Collins, as a fashion feud erupts. Oh mon dieu, the first day on set like the first day of school. I was so, so nervous because I had been watching these people as such abstract figures, Harris revealed. I felt like I was folded into the main cast and the main crew of the show effortlessly, in such a way that when they asked me if I would be excited as coming back as Gregory, it felt like I was going back to family I had a great vacation with already. So where can we see Harris next? He'll be back behind the scenes once again for HBO Max as co-producer for Euphoria Season 2 and also working to develop a yet untitled TV pilot for the streaming service. I've been getting to enjoy a lot of different modes that I always aspired to, Harris explained. I am just saying yes to the things that bring me joy. When I have this time, I am really trying to treasure it as much as possible. Until we see Harris again, we'll be standing Harris seen stealing Emily in Paris alter ego. And yes, Harris hinted at a season 3 appearance. Emily in Paris is now streaming on Netflix.